the 2K Sports pregame show. Happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, this is Shiver my me favorite. timbers, mate. Yes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. St. Patrick's Day. Shiver me timbers, Shiver mate. Shiver me timbers, mate. Ernie. It's like a, a pirate speaking in Ernie. Australia. You question me, O'Neill. Yes. Irish. I you know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. my bad. Uh, Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the, the Jet O. Smith, and Smith. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Mick Smith. Mick Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets. Miami Beach glistening from above on a beautiful day here in South Florida. We hope you're wearing the green today on this special presentation of the NBA on St. Patrick's Day. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. We've got the Charlotte Hornets and the Miami Heat. Two of the best bigs in the league going at it tonight. But 20 years ago, it probably would have played out a little bit differently. Yeah, totally right. I can remember when you throw the ball, you isolate the bigs on the blocks, Kevin. You wait till they get double teamed. They take up most of the shot clock, and then they kick it out to you at the last minute. And that's the way you shot to three. Right now, as you know, we see the game right now where the lane is wide open and it's played at a faster pace. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for the Hornets. He's out there with Williams. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Batum. And it's Walker in at the point. Shots good by Waiters. Having Waiters on the floor, he gives you versatility in the scoring department. As to the beast. It is good. And where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Only the first quarter. Guys are getting in a groove, but communication on the defense has to be better. Here's Dragic after the made shot from the Beast. Right side of screen. Now here's Waiters, covered by Lamb. Shot clock at five. Here's Richardson. Got a piece of it, and he recovers it. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. And the pass to Lamb. Here's the Beast. He's coming off an unbelievably high-scoring game. Batum, good. And, guys, this is what you like to see early on, gaining a little confidence from range. Makeable shot for him. Number gets called, and he goes ahead and delivers. Raiders no luck. We have blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. That's how it's drawn up. That is everything but the finish. And you have to like the location of this pass. It gives it to him where he can do something with it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Rockets against Walker. Can they get it? Again, the miss by the Heat. Yeah, and they're just hitting 20% of their shots. It's a rough, rough, rough start to this game. Here's the Beast. He's covered by Whiteside. The shot's good from the Beast. And just building on to the lead, extending it, trying their best to put this one away. You sense the game has a number of ways it can go. All you can do is your very best at that moment. Now here's Dragic. A 24-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. He also was very good distributing the basketball, keeping guys involved and engaged all night. Here's Walker. After the made shot from Goran Dragic, Walker the best to the beast. Good there. Good work defensively by Whiteside. And that was a heat check right there. First miss of the night, but still shooting 80% 
as a team. Back to Dragic. Right side of screen. Here's Waiters. Shot clock at five. Count it. His second make in four attempts. The screen and roll, a simple play to run, but when executed properly, as Waiters did, it's a nightmare to defend. Here's the beast. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They have plenty of ball handlers and athletes on this Heat's roster. Despite that, they play at a slow pace. That's just the team's demo. That free throw good from the beast. Well, offensively, the Heat don't run, but they're not shy about gunning. They don't run, but they shoot a lot of three-pointers. You need that shot to compete in today's game. Right side, a screen on Walker. To the middle. Right side, inside. Sinks that one from the post. Right side's got his first basket. Maintaining focus through contact. When White side does that, he's unstoppable. Platoon passes to the beast. And he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle too. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. Olenek, he's checked in for Whiteside. One shot, gentlemen. The Heat trail by six. Let's send it over to David Aldridge. You caught up with head coach Eric Spolstra. David? Well, Kevin, obviously not much success in the matchup this season, and I talked to the coach about what they can do to avoid the season sweep tonight. He said, look, we've struggled, but I feel we haven't played our best game on offense. We can minimize mistakes and stop beating ourselves. I think we have a shot. So we'll see if they can stop shooting themselves in the foot tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks a lot, David. Their focus is going to be on good shot selection here early, guys. And it's going to take a team effort. They, they can't have guys going solo and getting themselves into tough one-on-one -on -one situations. It wouldn't hurt to focus on their low post game. It doesn't get any more high percentage than those easy looks in tight. The shot's good from the beast. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Rogic kicks to Adebayo. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Williams with the ball. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Wizards in Washington. Walker's shot is off. No hesitation. He took it right to the rack. But a quick reaction by the defense. The shot's good from the beast. He's been making plays all quarter on a terrific hot streak, helping to build out this lead. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks, And they had a ton of missed opportunities at the foul line. That's always a game changer. Even if you do come away with the win, you've made it a lot harder than it should have been. But that night, they just couldn't overcome it. Winslow's checked in for the Heat. Cody Zeller's checked in for Charlotte. And we get a chance to check out the numbers for Kimba Walker. How his last 10 games have gone. Seventh in field goal percentage. And his sweet shooting stroke places him in the top 15 league-wide in three-point percentage. You've got to play him tight. And back to his phenomenal efficiency from three, top 10 in the league. His consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense. And from the opening tip, they have been in complete control of this one. Dominate on the court and is showing up on the scoreboard. Let's see if they can maintain this level of intensity. And stolen by Zeller. On the wing, but two. Covered by Winslow. Goes up the baseline. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And that's a foul called on the beast. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here. And here's Charlotte. 
They're on a 20 to 6 run. Richardson and Winslow out on the perimeter. Whiteside is out there with Adebayo. And it's Johnson in at the one spot. That's the group on the four for Miami. Justice Winslow won a national title at Duke University. The 10th overall pick in 2015. He's a lockdown defender who can guard all five positions. Richardson, good. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Pass to Monk. Here's the beast. And stolen by Whiteside. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Good poise, good pass from Whiteside. Hassan with beautiful vision on that play. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Monk. Ten points for him. And the foul on Josh Richardson. That is his first foul of the game. Dion Waiters checked in for Justice Winslow. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Lambs checked in. Here's the beast. It's good again in an excellent 7 for 8 shooting night so far. It's fine to extend your defense to try and create turnovers, but, but guys have to help each other. That's been a problem for them all game. Teamwork is something you just can't turn on and off. Now, here's Whiteside. 14 points from him the last game against Milwaukee. He was a shot-blocking nightmare out there. Four blocks on the game and some altar shots as well. And so here's Charlotte following the miss by Hassan Whiteside. Here's the beast. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Ooh, that's the one when you watch the film back. He's going to cringe. He could ask for a better opportunity. It's good from long range. He has great instincts on the offensive end. He's tough to contain. Charlotte leading by 14. Here's the screen. Parker passes to the beast. Uses the glass to finish the layup. The Beast's got 19 points. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Johnson kicks to Waiters. Pass to Whiteside. That shot missing. Nice D from the Beast. Charlotte has gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Lamb passes to the Beast. Just five on the clock. Charlotte needs to get a shot. Up. He had a nice open look right there. Parker's got seven. Well timed play. Parker sets up ready to catch and fire. And the pass is on point. Johnson kicks to Richardson. Inside, right side, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. You get a chance to see the elite court vision there. Excellent pass. Pass to the beast. Not enough on that one as it misses. And that was an easy one there, just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. Now, here's Whiteside. Six points for him. This is a problem for him. Inconsistent from the mid-range. And there's the pass to the beast. Let's it fly. He doesn't hit that one. And Miami the other way now. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. And that was an ugly loss for them last time playing these guys. And really, the rebounding differential was the key. They demonstrate a real tenacity on the glass and made their presence felt. We'll see if they can repeat that kind of play. Here's Parker. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. And it's Deion Waiters with the foul. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Hornets. Batum comes in for Biombo. And Walker subbed in for Tony Parker. Here's the beast. Miami grabs the miss. Whiteside's got three rebounds now in this one. I mean, he's struggling, hitting a low percentage of his shots this quarter. Waiters right side over Lamb, and good. Got the English that time as it falls. And it's six points for Dion Waiters. Hornets leading by 12. Pass to Lamb. Williams has a screen for Lamb to the middle. 
Here's the Beast. He's covered by Whiteside. It's good. The Beast's got 21. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alderman. Thanks, Kevin. The Beast in the last matchup against the Wizards was terrific. He finished with 67 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Hey, David, thanks very much. He's one of those players who can do remarkable things on any given night, in any given game. And that was a special game he played. And it wasn't just the performance, guys, but really his preparation. He knew the right way to attack in every situation. And that was the beauty of it, his ability to read and react to whatever they threw at him. Goran Dragic has checked in for Miami. Richardson the pass to Waiters. Right side dishes to Richardson. No good on the triple. Charlotte leading by 14. Down low. Passes it to the Beast. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. They get Hassan Whiteside. Smitty, looking back in your career, what's the most pressure you've felt in a game? You know, I think the most pressure, you, you love to be in those games. I think that's when you strive. I think the most pressure I ever felt, and it wasn't a playoff game, Kevin, or a championship game. It was that very first game as a rookie mm. because that game you had nothing to compare to, and it was everything you dreamed about. And that first game, you were finally saying, for me, I couldn't get it out of my head. This is my first NBA game. So I think that was the most pressure game I've ever played in. Here's the Beast. It's good for men tight. The Beast's got 24 points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Rogic kicks to Olenek. Batum against Johnson. They set the screen. On deep. He doesn't hit that one. Great D that time from Batum. Pass to the Beast. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And you look at the Beast. He's out in front in the East. A superstar talent certainly worthy of accolades. A great All-Star weekend it'll be. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. Now here's Waiters. He's coming off a 13-point game against Milwaukee. Kicks to Olenek. Rogic against Walker. Rogic the pass to Olenek. And that's good. And it's Rogic with the assist. And that's now 10 points for Kelly Olenek. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. It's tipped. Stolen by Waiters. Oh, and here comes Johnson all alone. He can't get it to go. Now Charlotte takes it the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And sometimes in that hostile environment, it is hard to stay true to who you are. But give them credit. They did, especially on offense. Well, they came in with a strong game plan, made adjustments when they needed to, and kept the crowd out of their heads. Here's Dragic. Terrific design on the pick play. And he lays it in. Dragic has got six. That's a strong move right down there in the paint. Something you see a lot from Goran Dragic. Charlotte calls timeout. Kelly Olenek comes from a basketball family in Canada. His mom was a scorekeeper for the Raptors. His dad coached... So we've reached the end of the first half of play. When it's ahead. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right... Welcome back as we continue our St. Patty's Day broadcast. What can you say? The Beast, an impressive effort here today. What well, we saw in the first half, he has a nice mixture of moves down low, and they've been going to him. He is reliable down there. Once he gets going, he is a machine. 
and Charlotte looking at who they've got. We've got Kemba Walker. Batum is out there with Marvin Williams. Then it's the Beast, and it's Lamb in at the shooting guard position. Al Richardson. Shot clock at six. The Heat need to get a shot off. Here's Trogic from outside, and that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. The Heat making a switch here. Whiteside's checked in. Hornets leading by 12. Charlotte moving it around. Mark down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. And a chance to check out the stats for Williams. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's putting up six points a night, three rebounds, and two assists. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. You need guys who understand their roles, carry them out without complaint. Everything he does is for the team. Dragic gets the bucket. Good rhythm from deep. Goran Dragic always more accurate when he's shooting under control. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That'll be his second foul of the game. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Here's the beast. Great pressure. Hard to see over Mount Whiteside. No good from the beast. Here's Richardson. That's in coming off an assist from Trogic. Trogic has got four assists in the game. Charlotte leading by seven. And Lamb kicks to Walker. And the pass to the Beast. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's his third foul of the game. And here are the Hornets now. Here's the Beast. And he drops it in from the low post. The Beast got four this quarter. You can tell he is on a mission down the stretch. Attack offensively and build on this lead. Here's Trogic, and the layup's good off the glass. A solid beginning to this second half offensively. Three for four from the floor. For Charlotte, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's the Beast. He's covered by Whiteside. Shots good from the Beast. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. The Heat trail by nine. Waiters outside. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Nine feet out. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Steve, you know there are so many ways you can impact the game at crunch time, but there are certain guys, as you also know, that thrive on taking that last shot. Yeah, Damian Lillard is one of those guys. They call it Dame time. James Harden, Kyrie, you look at Steph Curry. These guys have the basketball in their hands. They want to take the last shot. Kevin Durant, the greats, Russell Westbrook, they want it in their hand to be able to decide the outcome of the game, and they want it all on their shoulders. Rogic kicks to Richardson. He dishes it to Whiteside. Back to Richardson. Just five to shoot. Basket counts. Richardson's got eight points. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. Passes to the beast. And stolen by Whiteside. Floats one. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Johnson. Hornets have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Platoon passes to the beast. From eight. And he can't bank that one in. Miami's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Feeds it to Dragic. Deflects the pass. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Rambo, he's checked in for Batum. 
Monk comes in for Lamb, and Parker subbed in for Kemba Walker. Trogic gets the bucket. And, and the road back into this game wasn't a short one, but they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. Now this team, they trust each other, even down big. They have the ability to come back, and they have so far. The shot's good from the beast. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Rogic kicks the white side. Johnson the screen. And it's slammed in by Whiteside. Amazing. Whiteside sort of floats through the air, and that pass was on the money. And that unleashed chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover had it, giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Got a piece of it, and stolen by Richardson. There's the feed to Johnson. That's in, coming off an assist from Pogic. Johnson's got the lead up to two now for the Heat. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. For Charlotte, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Free throw good from the Beast. Justice Winslow, he's checked in for Miami. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Cody Zeller's checked in for Biznak Biombo. Stolen by Winslow. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. Yeah, the defender all over. And Josh Richardson at the University of Tennessee was a pre-med student. Plans on becoming a surgeon. But when the NBA became a possibility, he said he had to switch to an easier major. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of spending four hours a day studying, he, he put that time into the gym. The uh, terrific defender in college was the two-time All-SEC defensive player. And with the newfound focus on basketball, he has blossomed as a sport. Hits count that one from the beast. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Johnson sets the screen for Johnson. Here's Whiteside. Out of hand on it. Now, here's Monk. Defense right on him. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. Count the basket. Kid Gilchrist has got his second basket. And you have to appreciate the aggression. Nice work inside. Richardson dishes to Johnson. Right side of screen. Richardson gets a wide open look. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Richardson's got 13. Tough screen set there, and the defense was not prepared for it. The Hornets trail. Pass to Monk. Here's the beast. Richardson cover. Here's the beast, and it's blocked by Whiteside. With that long wingspan, Hassan Whiteside saying, no, not in my house. Miami's gone 6 of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. Johnson, the pass to Richardson. Five on the clock. Johnson outside. Point range. Rebound by the Beast. The Hornets have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. And Kid Gilchrist gets it to go in. And how about Monk there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Johnson kicks to Richardson. Here's Whiteside. That one off the back iron and out. The Hornets have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. To the paint, here's the Beast, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. And here's Richardson. He's got 13. Johnson outside. Johnson the screen. There's Winslow. up a three it's rebounded by the beast the beast's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one there's a minute 47 left and another one 
That'll do it. 40 points for him, and he's pulled even. And to think, G.A., at the start of the year, we'd see someone match the record for most 40-point games? Simply spectacular. And to tie the mark of 63 games of 40 or more, it is just awe-inducing. To score 40 or more in over three-fourths of the NBA season is something that players don't even dream of. Got it. Good job in the low post. The Beasts got 43 points. Yeah, what a quarter for him. Flying on all cylinders, putting this team in a good place. Richardson the pass to Johnson. Back to Richardson. Johnson outside. Right side, a screen on Parker. A three from Johnson. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. There's the triple. Hits it from three-point range. Monk's got 13. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. To the inside. Right side. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Yeah, momentum right now is against them. They, they're just going to have to figure out a way to ride this one out. You know, easier said than done. What they need to do is string together some positive plays, try to turn the tide. And, and look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. For Charlotte, they have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. The free throw off from the Beast. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Hornets lead by 11. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. The Heat trail by 11. Trogic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. Olenek down low with Whiteside. And it's Winslow in at the three slot. It's the group on the floor for Miami. Whiteside, good. That's where you level up. Whiteside imposing his will in deep. Off the screen, Walker. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Rogic dishes to Waiters. Right side of screen. Back to Drogic. Waiters gets a wide open look, and that's good. And it's Drogic with the assist. Drogic has got his eighth assist in the game. Charlotte calls timeout. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late-game push. Autobio. Waiters outside. Olenek, a screen on Walker. Rogic kicks to Olenek. Kicks it to Waiters. And the Heat, another three. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. It's stolen by Dragic. Inside. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. A 
On defense, the Hornets. Three-point lead. Knocked loose. Here's on a bio. They grab their own miss, and he dunks it down. And when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to rally and get back into it. This was all sparked by their defense. They got some stops, and they did it in a hurry. Here's the beast. Olenek is covering. Man, both teams scoring at a higher rate here down the stretch. You know what? It's all about the offense. Decisive and prolific. Fun duel to watch. Here's Adebayo. Waiters outside. Just four to shoot. A floater. Shot is good, and the Charlotte lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Trogic. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that one had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. They've done a great job, but they're not done yet. The Heat making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. And so it's Charlotte with it. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Releases, and the shot is long. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 12-4 run to take the lead. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And here's the upcoming schedule now for the Miami Heat. On Monday, they'll go up against Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the San Antonio Spurs. And that game against the Wizards, they have that date circled. They love to compete, and they feel they can play very well against that group if they can execute. A rare bad trade by the San Antonio Spurs. Drakic was their second-round pick in 2008. They traded his rights to the Sun for a player who didn't even make the roster. He's been unstoppable here late, trying to shut the door and turn the lights out. Waiters passes to Autobahn. There's the screen. Walker against Dragic. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Dragic has got 14 points here in the second half. He's such a versatile scorer. Goran Dragic does a great job of using the screen. Charlotte moving the ball around. Here's the beast. Good. He hits again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Olenek sets a screen for Waiters. Pass to Olenek. And the Heat. Another three. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Charlotte has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. And the pass to the Beast. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Here's the Beast. And yep, another basket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. They set the pick. There's the double team with Walker. Used the screen and took it all the way. A sneaky pick and roll player. Goran Dragic on point. Dishes to the roller. For Charlotte, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Platoon passes to the beast. And they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. Miami's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Dragic against Walker. Inside. Taken away by Williams. Outside Batum. Charlotte calls timeout. Started. recognize our Jordan player of the game, the Beast. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. 
He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Whiteside's checked in for a Olenek. Here's the Beast. He's covered by Whiteside. And that one, good. The Beast's got 57 points. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. One of the cases where Hyde fails to tell you the whole story. They set the pick. And he drops in the way up off the glass. The Beasts got 59 points. He can be masterful in there, especially when there's no rim protection. Walker against Dragic to the inside. Right side of screen. Five to shoot. And the shot no good. A bit short. Well, this is why you see guys shying away from their mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. The base passes to Walker. Williams a screen. Here's the beast. Good. He hits again. Make that 61 points. Yep. Everything is going his way right now. The Heat trail by six. Outside Dragic. 136 left in the fourth quarter. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. against Walker. Six on the shot clock. Right side a screen on Walker. Connects from three-point range. And it's now 23 points for Gordon Truck. This is when the game becomes real. Your leaders need to step up. Dragic did just that. Pass to the beast. This game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. I get you against Walker. Pass to Richardson. Fifty-five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Kicks it to Waiter. They get it again. You never know when your number's going to be called. Hassan Whiteside answering the bail. And here's Walker outside. It's Autobio with the rebound. And it's Miami's ball. They trail by three. Out to the right wing. There's the double team with Lamb. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. the Hornets with the ball and they commit an intentional foul we'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty yeah you, you have to do that though you can't just let them dribble the game out there's 21 seconds left here in the fourth quarter and so they choose to intentionally foul it's the first and that gives them a four-point cushion So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall. Timeout called the Heat. They trail by five. 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? I mean, tough position, but really, they, they can't blame anybody but themselves. They've certainly missed on some opportunities, but stranger things have happened. They need a quick shot and an immediate foul right here. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Eric Spolster had some words for his team. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game, we have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Timeout called the Heat. They're behind by five. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 
What's your take, guys? And this huddle up about two things, the quick shot and then the quick foul. And you're right. And if they do get the bucket, you love to foul someone who isn't automatic from the line. That would take good denial of the ball on the inbounds. Right side of screen. Waiters dishes to Whiteside. He kicks to Richardson. Adebayo passes to Dragic. Waiters inside the three-point line. No good. And so it's Charlotte with the win. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you later. know what we need to do we need to figure out what we're doing tonight after this you know so i'm talking about i want to get some food hey great effort out there guys uh ai need you for an interview real oh yeah quick. okay yeah. all right guys you know the drill let's do it the 2k sports post game show and we welcome you back i'm ernie johnson we got Shaq here. We got Kenny here. With this one in the books, we've got a special post-game guest joining us. Hey, this is Shaq. I got to give you credit. You're playing like an old-school big man tonight, dominating on the glass, in the paint, communicating with your teammates. Talk about your approach heading into this game. Well, uh, Shaq, Coach is always telling us how important it is to battle on the glass. Uh, that's something that falls on the shoulders of big men on this team. You know, I just tried to come in with a hungry attitude, not give up on any single play, and that applies to both scoring and rebounding. I thought as a team we did a good job in both areas tonight. Ernie Kenny, I love this kid. Love you too, Shaq. And that's a wrap, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. For Shaq, for the Jet, for Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. We will see you again soon. There you go.